Hi, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Are you thirsty now? Here, this is for you. It looks so good looking at this cold ice water, right? Are you wondering where this clear water comes from? Actually, it comes from this, this water. And maybe the water you drink now also comes from this. It is very dirty and looks terrible, doesn't it? How wet dirty water is transformed into clear clean water? It is through the treatment process. Amazing, right? It is said that 4% of sewage composition comes from the textile industry. Do you know what the main contributors of this waste water coming from the textile industry? Yes, that's right. It is from the dyeing process. The dyeing process is the one that coloring your clothes you're using right now. It is surprising, right? The very low concentration of dyes in effluent are highly visible and undesirable. So, that's why the dye influence treatment is important as this influence are mutagenic, calcinogenic, and toxic. Also, it can cause severe and chronic health problems. Scary, isn't it? Thus, I came out with the purpose method, which is the photocatalysis. What is it actually? The photocatalysis is a process in which it uses a photocatalyst to facilitate the chemical reaction in the presence of light energy. From the picture, it can be seen that the photocatalyst is being activated in the presence of light energy to create the strong oxidation agent such as hydroxy radical and electron holes to convert the harmful organ polluted to the harmless carbon dioxide and water. Why did I choose photocatalysis method over other types of wastewater treatment? Because it is environmentally friendly as it uses natural sources which is solar energy. Its ability to totally destroy the pollutant in a variety type of compounds it is reusable as we can just recollect the photocatalyst, wash it, and reuse it for another wastewater treatment. And also, it is a low cost method. It sounds good, doesn't it? You can save your wallet. These are three objectives for my research. It contains too many wording technical, right? Basically, my purpose is to trade the dye's influence by using zinc oxide and perfect carbon nitrate as a photocatalyst. But first, we need to evaluate their nature, behavior, and performance. So that is the topic of my study. In this project, I use zinc oxide. Why I'm choosing zinc oxide? Because it is a non-toxic compound, strong oxidizing agent, environmental friendliness, and low cost. And compared to another metal oxide semiconductor, such as titanium oxide, zinc oxide has similar photodegradation mechanism with titanium oxide and some study shows that zinc oxide exhibits a higher efficiency than titanium oxide in the photocatalytic degradation. However, there is one disadvantage of zinc oxide as it has large band cap energy which is about 3.2 electron volt means that it can only absorb the ultraviolet light with wavelengths below than 387 nanometer, which accounts for only 3 to 5 percent of the whole solar energy. Thus, this gives me an idea to couple zinc oxide with another semiconductor that has a small band cap energy, such as chloride carbon nitrate (GCN). As we know that the GCN is the most stable compound among carbon families. It also has a good thermal ability and stable properties. But most importantly, it has the smallest band cap energy at 2.7 electron volt, which allow the maximum light absorption. Hence, the combination of zinc oxide and GCN to form a photocatalyst is a promising way as it is an ideal system to achieve an enhanced charge separation in electron transfer process. It also exhibits a higher efficiency by generating visible photocatalytic activity. So, I truly believe that photocatalysis has a high potential for future perspective and advanced water treatment technology. 
by using zinc oxide couple with TCN as the photocatalyst, we can enhance the photocatalytic performance. With that, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for me. Thank you for your kind attention.